topic or our next topic we're going to discuss is political marketing in music because um there's an interesting band actually called fight the fight yeah and um i'm just going to show you which was way better before than they were called Oslo fans called. Uh, i couldn't quite hear you you need to come close to the mic oh sorry but their previous name was way better Oslo fans called. really he didn't know that no i didn't know that mate they, they changed they changed very recently to this fight the fight i think like it was like four or three years ago or something uh, before that they were Os oslo fans club oslo fans fun you know, yeah like uh how would you even translate that fans club? F U C K. without even yeah or damn it uh, yeah farted <laughs> I don't nah. really need to say any any more than that. Um, <laughs> the the thing about marketing and political marketing, it's like you say, they change their name, so immediately I'm like, they're going, oh, are they Black Lives Matters or what? Uh, they changed the name to be more international because, like, okay, like this Oslo Oslo fans cup was funny for the Norwegians and everything, but. Uh, well, if they go, you know, abroad, then nobody will get it. But everybody likes this sort of like niche Norwegian names. Like yeah, I think so. I think so too. I, 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 I think they made a mistake with this. And definitely, I mean, this is their first album. And the only reason why I'm going to talk about political marketing is the colors. And, um, they're a, a, a sort of a death metal band, are they not? Ah, uh, well, like... Let yeah, me do... Yeah, you know, death. Like this modern... Uh, new age... New metal. It's, 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 it's new, yeah, more like new metal, I would say. Yeah. Because they're pretty new metal, they're saying. But they are interesting. They are interesting. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I saw them once, yeah. They were opening for ministry, I think, uh, last year, maybe, or was it last year? I guess. Yeah, I think well, it whatever. was last year. They were on tour last year because they had their uh -huh. album that come out on, when did this album come out? In 2017. So um, they've got a new one. Uh -huh. It's a... Uh, Oh, it's slightly yeah. better than the first one because I feel as though the first album that they it's did... It's a horrible cover. Uh, thank you. I mean, it doesn't really say anything. When I look at that, I think to myself, am I going to be listening to a, psycho a psychedelic metal band? But it turns out it's not. It's death metal. Or I would think, no, that's a pop group yeah no. it's like it, it doesn't say too much no and then they've gone for this nice gold and black thing which mm -hmm. the only thing about that that, that re resembles those colors now please political marketing gets on my nerves right um i'm gonna tell you yeah it reminds me of hip-hop music yeah. I yeah. think that's mis-selling. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Like, okay, if you, if you were to go to a record store, pick this CD up, you have no way of knowing what this is. Absolutely. And you would, you would just think that, okay, well, if you find this at the metal section, like, oh, wait a second, someone misplaced it from the hip-hop section, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's, it makes sense. And so, because uh, I promised you we were going to talk about marketing, I'm, I'm going to talk about Sex Pistols because they're the only ones that I could remember using bright colours, right? And no word of a lie, I, I like I like going on to the ne never mind the buscocks and talking about how bright mm -hmm. the colours were. The only reason why Sex Pistols, right, had bright colours is because 
come on, say it, the most obvious thing. Uh, <laughs> the most obvious thing that comes to your mind. For having bright colors for sex crystals? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Okay, go on. Yeah, yeah. Because it's the most obvious thing in the world. They're called the sex pistols. So obviously, right, they can do whatever they want. They can have whatever bloody colours they want. They can, they can, like... But could they already at this point? I don't know too much about the sex pistols. Uh, so when, when they released this, were they already at the point where they could do whatever the fuck? Well, I, Technically, they're since they are punk, like they shouldn't give a fuck about anything, right? Absolutely but, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is it maybe the punk attitude? I, th I think it's a I don't give a fuck attitude, yeah. but they call uh -huh. themselves the Sex Pistols. Yeah. So this is the this is a very interesting conversation. So I'm gonna go back onto I'm gonna go back onto punk. And I'm going to talk about rancid. Mm -hmm. So, rancid, right? What do you think that word means? Oh, sh <laughs> now you're putting me into an embarrassing situation. <laughs> 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 rancid shit. Uh... Oh, oh, define it, please. <laughs> okay, so. I mean, yeah. I have like some feeling, but like, I, I, okay, I don't want to make an idea of myself. I don't know this word. Yeah. So, so like, do you want me to go for it? Right? Yeah, Let's yeah, go for it, please. You're the native. You know when you've got rotting meat in your fridge? Uh huh. Okay. And you don't notice it until you open the fridge and you smell that smell. Uh huh. That's called rancid, the smell. So it's like the rotten. Uh... Yeah. Oh, okay. So. All right. I don't know how they ended up coming out with that name, but it's pretty good, you know. Uh huh. Um, which also brings me to the point that they, they used red, and they're a punk band, so they can do whatever the f heck they want. But this is their second album let's go and they just used a fist and and the map of san francisco as well as far as i see absolutely you are on target Pretty cool. we're, gonna, we're gonna go for another one right you know this band right suffocation yeah oh yeah so if we talk about suffocation <laughs> right? whoop He's on I fire. love this album. So, this album, why do you love it so much? Let's just talk about that. I don't know, like the the sound is really raw. This one probably probably it's because that's the first suffocation I've heard. Human waste, and uh, yeah, it's always the first that you like the most, pretty much. Mm. You see, the thing is, when you said the first immediate word that came to your mind is raw. Yeah. If we, <laughs> the album cover says it all, though, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> like, this is so raw shit, man. This is raw. <laughs> and so yeah. you, just, you just know you're going to get it. Yeah, like if you, you, if you take a look at it, then, then you know what yeah they don't make album covers like that anymore i'm telling you which brings no, me to, not really. to to the next band right? yeah. and this is this is going to be quite weird because we're going to talk about a scandinavian band that will never really gets that much attention and it's called in vain i, I wondered why they don't get much attention is it because of their marketing? Well, I don't know. I don't give them too much attention either. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, um, do you think that 
the only reason why you didn't give it much attention is because the album cover looks a bit blue. No, no, it's for me. It's the name that turns me off. Okay. It, it's very helpful to just just be able to discuss these things, you know. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. but like I, 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 I feel like. Okay, I'm not sure uh, about what genre in vain is, but I would say it's like uh, some gothic-ish thing or like a bit more. Uh... I would what say. What kind of music is it? They're a cross between. This is no word of a lie. They're a cross between um, mayhem and and enslaved. Sort of like, well, that's the thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it is. They are really good, actually, and and so that's the reason why I feel as though it doesn't do it justice. Oh yeah. Well. Um, the next band that I wanted to talk about. Bring on the new Napalm Death cover. Let's discuss <laughs> that. Huh? Have you seen it? No, I haven't. Check um, it out. I was going to talk to you about go to, oh no go off there. Now, no, this is just the end on uh, on the whole thing and the end of the chapter. Why do you think that they're finding it very difficult to sell their stuff? Is it because uh, their album covers are not that great? No, it's just because I don't know how many of them are in Gotha. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the band individually is a fantastic musician mm -hmm. and they get together to make fucking crappy music. <laughs> is that no. is that your answer to it? It's like <laughs> why did you like, do that? No, why did yeah, you make so... music? <laughs> no, but like, seriously, like you were there last year at Midgard's World, right? Yeah, I was there. I was there. Yeah, so, so so they were playing. I was really curious because you know, like I, I I think visually, like they have an intriguing thing going on. So I was I was quite curious to see what's going on, like or what's it gonna be like on stage. And it, it looked like an interesting performance, but I just couldn't stand it. It's like everybody's playing some really interesting stuff on their instrument, but it just doesn't match together for me. And uh, I discussed it with like my other bandmates too, and then it was the same opinion. So yeah, so I think it's uh, maybe maybe my my mind is not ready to accept this thing, but uh, it it's it's like. It's like some bands, you need to be able to be, what's it called, um, in, in, engulfed in something else. Um, um, you need to be on the marijuana, let's put it that <laughs> Well, so, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I don't participate in that, but, you know, there yeah. are some some things that I can't do. I can't go to a nightclub without take, having about ten drinks. Seriously, I'm that kind of a girl. Mm -hmm. um, always have been, um, and I've always wondered why. Um, but it it's one of those things. Bands probably don't share their. Um, their uh, thoughts and what goes on uh, because they don't but Garte they, they they did sound quite interesting but it's the album cover I'm sorry man oh that's the album cover yeah I'm not kidding you uh, well okay it's not great not terrible I would say yeah, it's in between, but I, I still feel like I, I like this uh, crown that looks like some dead flowers or something. Yeah, absolutely. I'll go yeah, with that. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. I I do feel as though, even for an audience from outside, 
it's really hard to get that off um oh. yeah so you have to put a twice and maybe they needed to do that rather than just say god they if they if they're gonna sell to an international crowd yeah, like, but i, I think I, I think they are tar targeting mostly uh norway for uh, for their music i mean okay I, I don't know what's going on if they are doing okay nobody's doing touring uh, at this point but but um like i don't know how like what their goals are when it comes to international success mm. maybe because for some bands it's just it's just better to stay inland and especially when you're making music in your own language or okay, like except for english bands of course or american bands it doesn't matter because uh, they are really international by default but um but norwegian bands like there are several that are you know uh, famous here but uh, like outside maybe not so much i don't know i feel as though we we are coming to the end of like the, the period where we are selling internationally so uh -huh. it's like i said the internet is going to close down um so the arguments that i raised in the last topic with the last topic it's it is interfused with music like i'm saying uh -huh. in order to like reach out to a market you are then saying that this is now the intranet do you know yeah. what i mean yeah yeah and it's well it's already happening in hungary at least because you know unlike most countries they do have concerts like normal concerts you can you can attend it's just uh, limited to like i think 500 people and uh there, there was even a festival uh this summer and it's like normally it's some really underground international festival like so this this year it was supposed to be god flash and uh Atari teenage riot and um like a bunch of like uh, there was supposed to be some norwegian act as well Atari but teenage uh, riot is still going yeah yeah, yeah. holy finoli <laughs> you like him God, that's like 20 odd years, man. Shh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now showing my age. Jeez. <laughs> Anyhow, so these bands were scheduled, but you know, like since the virus kicked in, of course they had to cancel, but they had the festival anyways. It's just, it was only Hungarian artists. And um, well, it turned out, you know, like it, it's still better than nothing, right? Absolutely. And, and so they, I, I think now, uh because of the virus the the local scene will grow pretty strong or it, it should grow stronger um, at least that's what i'm expecting and um well in norway not so much maybe because uh, we just have these seated arrangements and i think that really kills the vibe when it comes to metal at least uh, rock music in general and um but we'll see but yeah yeah i mean as a bottom line, I would say that uh, the local uh, music scenes uh, should be benefiting from this whole situation. I agree with you. I feel as though locally, if we're going that way, then we really don't need the World Wide Web anymore. And so... Yeah, bring would, down the internet! you know what i mean it wouldn't, it wouldn't make any difference if we have a TikTok bound or not do you know what i mean because the way things are going um so i don't know why there isn't like a sort of like a demand at storting uh, or parliament or anything else like that to say you know what doors are closing now we might as well go down this route we're going to go for local bands and we're going to go into our local pubs and we're going to do all this kind of thing and can you believe it the pubs are shutting at 10 here yeah 22 Since when? yes it's going to be in force um at the end of this week really yeah yeah 
No, I just heard about this 10, 10 people um, limit of gatherings. Oh, it's six, uh, 10 people here, but six in the UK. And I'm telling you, oh, how are you okay. going to enforce that? Well, <laughs> I, I think they manage. I mean, like, uh, you know, that's, um, I think that's a really scary phenomena that, um, you know, people uh, sort of spy on each other or something, like, you know, like uh, calling the police on one another. Um, I think that that will happen in most cases when they see like, okay, like, uh, looks like there's a gathering in the neighborhood. Can you please come out and check up on them or something? And then, and then that's it. And uh, this mentality, I think, is, is really, really unhealthy in general. Yeah, I don't want it to get that far, but you know, by the it's, end of the it's day, wrong. It, it's going to, isn't it? It, it, I mean, it already is, I think. Uh, I'd argue that, uh, you know, like some people are really paranoid about the virus and all that shit. And can you blame them? It's uh, since March, the entire planet has been, uh, you know, just turned inside out. And of course, there are some people who have some really strong feelings about this and you, you can't really blame them. On the other hand, don't turn into a, a spy for the police. I think that's horrible. I, I, I think that we all had a social responsibility. We've come to that point where, you know, even marketing changed for band covers, even here. It's going that route. We're no longer going to be a global uh, marketing thing. We can't go to China for our stuff now and people are having problems with merchandise. So it's, it's going to be change in all different directions, but for God's sake, man, stick to the same simple formats of colors and making sure that your album cover says exactly what is in the tin. Oh yeah, but like, wait a second, you didn't bring up the nape on this cover. Oh no, I did need to do Shit. that, didn't I, Shit. man? Oh, sugar. Oh, wait a minute. Napalm death, give it me. Oh, now I'm letting the side down. Napalm death. You, you, you brought it up and then I didn't even do it. I'm so sorry. Yeah, like this is important. This is the most recent thing that came out and it. It's a very interesting cover. I, I'd like to hear, hear your opinion about it. You know what? I'm trying to look up uh, Napalm Death uh, albums. Wow. I'm trying to bring is up it... the discography. Or take I'm, I'm trying to recall the, the title. It's a really long one. It's like uh, I got it. I got echoes it. in the throes of joy. What is it? <laughs> no, but it, I, I've got no. Uh, I've got no picture. I've you got, got no, no picture. picture. I've got the. I've got the name. Throes of the joy. Yes, of that's it. Beatism. Yeah. Right. So as we bring up the a, picture, I am. I'm gonna. I'm gonna froze in the. Ooh. Now that's something, isn't it? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold your horses. Ah, oh, check Here it out. Here we go. That's just like. That's what you. That's what you're talking about because. You know, when we've been going through this whole, what could you call it, um, dystopian nightmare of a situation. Yeah, this, this pictures it. This sells it. This is, this is a fantastic cover. Like, it says something about the music, and it says something about the message of the music, too. Right, and it looks like it's it's executed well too. I mean the, I mean the name of it throws of the jaw, of joy in the jaws, 
of defeatism. Did we feel like we've been defeated? Because that doesn't look like you are, mate. Especially when you do that to a bird. I'm just trying to figure out what exactly that connotation uh, there is. There is an explanation for this whole situation. Is that? Yeah, like um, like this uh, pigeon, like this uh, bird is like is supposed to be a symbol of peace or something, which is uh, suffocated. But there's still, I think this this E symbol it still stands for uh, like equality or something, which doesn't die uh, even though you, you kill this bird or something. I don't know. Like look look it up. I I don't want to misinterpret. Do, do, do you do you know but, what? I yeah. will go with your interpretation. If somebody else has a different interpretation, you know what they need to do? Leave a comment below and also... Or, or just go back to Napalm Death's uh, official Facebook page where they <laughs> they explain this. So <laughs> oh, do they explain it? Yeah, there, there's an explanation to this, yeah. Uh, it, it was a pretty long one, that's why I, my uh, memory is a bit fuzzy about it. But. Do do you yeah. know what? I'm not even going to be a killjoy. I reckon that people need to a actually find out, have some curiosity in life. Yeah, and have some curiosity. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because we've, we've, we've lost that yearning feeling, I feel. Yeah, and discuss, we can discuss this in the next uh, show or like the next broadcast or podcast or whatever. How about that? Absolutely. Because I think I think this this is an interesting topic too. Uh, uh, we, we could talk about it a bit more. How uh, how people lost their interest in general for um, for music, and there is I think there is something behind it that I want to discuss. Ooh, you know what? I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. And if you are really interested in what Martin has to say all the time. Visit his uh, uh, visit his channel and subscribe MPF. I'll leave links down below. And also, on that note, if you really liked us, you know what? Just make that subscribe. thumbs um, blue and subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's what we do around here. We just say it, even though we said the F word about five million times. And so do, what? You know do, what? Do you, when you upload, do you click this um, child-friendly thing? No, just you know, leave it. No, I don't. Because, yeah, I don't. I don't click the child-friendly thing, especially. We were talking about suffocation, about human waste. For fuck's sake! It's <laughs> you know what I mean? Human waste. It's not like kids go around and say yeah. bash or poo or bum bum all the time. You know. I was talking to my friend's kid and she he was like saying bum 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 in the background i was like oh my that's what i have every day <laughs> so yeah uh it's uh it's it's been fantastic talking to you brilliant talking about the the marketing and tech and how uh this world is now becoming a dove that is being asphyxiated by a rubber gloved hand. Yep, that is a real huge connotation right there, man. <laughs> All right. And have a nice um, time. And yeah, thank you Thanks. for listening. Thanks for listening. Bye. Yeah. Um, I don't know where it went, but I can't find the, the little channel thing. Oh my God. Where is it? What? The recording? I don't know. I think I stopped halfway. No, it's, uh, it says it's still recording. So just, uh, Hold on. Just uh, stop it and, to... and it's being exported once you end the meeting. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh shit, what's going on? Uh, yeah, see you later. <laughs>